Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got a system of four, three equations. As you can see over here, our equations are a times b equals to 10, b times c equals to 20, and finally a times c equals to 30. And now our task is to find the value of a plus b plus c. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first time. I'm going to label all these uh, three equations. I'm going to label this one as our equation number one, this as our equation number two, and finally this uh, as equation number three. And here's our next step. We are going to multiply out uh, all these three equations. In other words, uh, we are going to multiply the left hand uh, sides and at the very same time, I'm going to multiply out the right hand sides uh, as well. So therefore, let's go ahead and multiply out. So we can write down A times uh, B times uh, B times uh, C and finally A times uh, C is going to be equal to, we can write uh, 10 times uh, 20 and then times uh, 30. And if we multiply out the left hand side, so A times A is going to give us uh, A square, B times uh, B is going to give us uh, B square, and finally C times C is going to give us uh, C square. So therefore, on the left hand side, we got uh, A square times B square times uh, C square is going to be equal to and on the right hand side is uh, 10 times uh, 20 times 30 is going to give us uh, 6,000. Uh, and now let's focus on the right uh, hand side. We are going to tweak the right hand side. 6,000 uh, could be written as uh, 400 uh, times uh, 15. So therefore uh, this equation could be written as uh, a square times b square times uh, c square equals to 400 times uh, 15 and now I am going to undo these uh, squares by taking a square root on uh, both uh, sides and on the left hand side uh, these squares are gone with this square root so we are ended up with uh, a times the b times c is going to be equal to the square root of 400 is going to be 20 so i'm going to write down 20 outside times the square root of 15. so thus our a times b times c value turns out to be 20 times square root of 15 and i'm going to label this one as our equation number four and here's our next step. Now let's focus on this expression a plus b plus c and we are going to find the value of this uh, sum and we are going to tweak uh, each and every term. Let's focus on this very first term uh, a. This a could be written as uh, a times b times c divided by b times c. Likewise let's focus on this second term b. b could be written as uh, a times b times c divided by a times c and finally let's focus on this uh, c the third term that could be written as a times b times c divided by a times b so therefore i can write uh, this expression as uh, a times b times c divided by b c plus uh, a times b times c divided by a c and plus finally a times b times c divided by a times b and now let's focus on this uh, equation for a times b times c value is 20 times square root of 15 so i'm going to substitute that value on the numerator across the board and now let's focus on the denominator b times c b times c in our case is uh, 20 a times c is uh, 30 and finally a times b is uh, 10 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we can write uh, 20 times the square root of 15 divided by b c value is 20 plus uh, the second term is 20 
times the square root of 15 divided by AC value is 30 and plus finally 20 times the square root of 15 divided by 10 and now we are going to reduce each and every term this first term reduces to simply square root of 15 plus this uh, second term uh, reduces to 2 times the square root of uh, 15 divided by 3 plus and finally this uh, third term reduces to simply 2 times the uh, square root of uh, 15 so therefore we can see that our a value turns out to be square root of 15 our b value is uh, 2 times square root of 15 uh, divided by 3 and finally our c value turns out to be 2 times square root of 15 so therefore i can write down our a value is square root of 15 our lowercase b value is 2 times square root of 15 divided by 3 and finally our c value is 2 times square root of 15 and now we can see square root of 15 is in common across the board so therefore i can factor out uh, square root of 15 and the parentheses we got 1 plus uh, 2 third plus uh, 2 and here i can tweak this uh, one could be written as 3 divided by 3 and likewise this 2 could be written as uh, 6 uh, divided by 3 and we can see now we have the common denominator 3 across the board and now let's focus uh, inside this uh, parenthesis this uh, we got 3 as a common denominator so i can write uh, 3 as a common denominator and on the numerator it's going to be a 3 plus 2 plus 6 if we add the numerators that is going to give us 11 divided by 3 so therefore uh, this whole uh, thing uh, simplifies to 11 uh, divided by 3 so therefore uh, this could be written as 11 times uh, square root of 15 divided by 3 so therefore after all the manipulations and calculations our a plus b plus c value turns out to be 11 times uh, square root of 15 divided by 3 so thus our a plus b plus c value turns out to be 11 times square root of 15 divided by 3 and here are uh, our individual uh, a b and c values and that's our final uh, answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye